Good morning, this is uh, day two of the uh, Wiki Smart Cruiser build. Yesterday we managed to uh, get two of the towers part built. I'm going to finish smaller of the two towers today, uh, put the floor in to shore it up a little bit because when I lifted it, it did actually move on the bolts despite it being initially square. So we're going to get that floor on, try and steady it a bit more when I'm moving it around, get it into some sort of position. So these are the uh, boards just laid out by hand, flush to either end uh, and then evenly spaced, just by eye really. Now it does call for um, just measuring in now, Even despite these beams being 44 wide, it still asks you to mark in 25mm rather than 22mm you'd think, but that's probably purely you don't want the end of these boards splitting. Um, as you can see up there, these ones that I did yesterday just marked out oh, nice and evenly that one's obviously bang in the middle at 22 mil uh, and the end one's at 25 mil the floor in place now it showed everything up everything's stable so i can sh shift that around i've just been looking through all the instructions there is no detailed floor plan dimensions whatsoever the only dimensions you get is the one i've come across on the website or on ebay uh well that's all i can find is is the floor plan with the basic dimensions but there's nowhere that stipulates exactly how far apart these towers should be and and obviously they want you to use their anchors concrete it in the floor to stabilize it um but how do you know where that needs to be so hopefully by putting these towers in the only way I can see is these planks here, which is the ones I thought had an angle, but it was just a bad drawing on the uh, instructions. That is the basically handrail that goes diagonally between the towers um, to stop your kiddies falling off the, uh, the wobble bridge, if you like. So I'm gonna use that as my distancing piece to where the towers should be. And then also the same goes for the ladders, because I want, I want to position my ladders sort of here the largest tower is going to be there, the, the bridge, and then the front tower is going to be over there with the slide coming this way and the swings coming out to where I'm stood now. We'll see how we get on, shifting it about. Right, so I've got it in some sort of position. Um, that's the tower, it's really difficult. Try to level it on, on the uneven ground uh, with bits and pieces and bricks. Because one, a few millimetres down there, so you've got a good 100 mil up here, so I'm well out. So I, I, even though I was getting them right, the handrails, it was throwing the whole lot off. But that's pretty much square now, so I know I've got a string on them up. I've just got to tweak it in a little bit this way, uh, keeping it all true. This, the swing post will be there, comes right out to, I've just got to obviously move the bench again. The, the supports, there's enough room either side for the swing, so you've got your two swings here, you've got the climbing up there. We're going to have the shop front at this side, uh, the picnic table's under there I believe. The slide, it's, that's the concern, it's very close and we knew about that, but we've just come up with an idea, me and the wife, that this climbing net, that goes on the, that's why I've left this off, you see, it's not attached. This climbing net, to get through this hole here with the handles, we're going to actually fence that off. And we're going to come this way with the net. And as you've got the ship front here, we're going to leave these two off and that's going to be the hatch to get in. So that allows us to move the whole structure all the way back here to the privet. That gives me another easy three foot at the front of the slide where it is at a minute so that's that's all the dangers known. Fortunately I've got to move it again but it is what it is and it's all about the planning so that's what we're going to do. Grab some lunch and I'll be back at it. I'm pretty much on hold for now. I 
I've got the framework uh, back to where I wanted it, position leveled off, uh, sort of marking so I can mark the ground. Happy with everything, everything's square, level. I've got the string line up between the towers just as a rough measure. That's pretty good. Um, the top handrails again with the distance between the towers. All right, day three at it in between the weather. Uh, I've got four holes dug. Start of the fifth. Uh, I've got three more to do for the for the towers. These are the galvanised anchors. If you've not seen them, very expensive for what they are. Um, no doubt you could go to your local metal stores get some angle iron. That's about it, really. Okay, it's galvanised. But the wood had rot out before any angle line would rot out in the ground, I should imagine. But that's what we've got. I decided to buy the proper ones. You're going to sit in the hole. The holes um, stipulate 700 deep, 600 deep concrete of that, 300 mil diameter. I ain't digging that. Uh, most uh, single story buildings don't have foundations that deep, so I'm not doing that for this. It'll be quite sufficient. There's uh, put an hold on things. Day three, I haven't got much done. I'm gonna have to pack up. But pretty much, uh, I'll get under here. Pretty much, as you can see, I've dug my holes. They're actually floating in there. It's deeper than the galv, the angle iron, uh, and I've wedged it up so everything's nice and level and true. Had a little bit out on that hole, but I'm not too worried. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna put the legs on this. Set it up pretty much the same. I might have to just screw a couple of temporary battens on on there so I can level it out like we've done this one uh, and then that should be good good to go pour the concrete get my levels right and then we can continue to uh, build the rest without no worries then everything's uh, everything's where it needs to be right I better get inside <laughs> 